Hmm? Look depressed. <sighs> well, I was just recalling a bit of a depressing memory. The feelings just all rushed back to me, so my mood basically plummeted. How I always do? I can't go the normal route and just plainly ask how I always look. There's no fun in that. Oh no. You mean a face that's wild like an animal or so a face that screams ulterior motives? So a face that screams ulterior motives? Er, uh, something like this. Th that can't be! I just want to be your friend, senpai! No! It's a wish that comes from the crannies of my heart! <laughs> I... I do? Really? That makes me kinda happy. Make a super bad pun on purpose. Man, the sun must be smart with so many degrees. Uh, um, that was a pun. College degrees and degrees as in temperature, you know. Explaining your own joke is pretty embarrassing, but hey, I guess it's better than that awkward silence you get when they don't understand. Some. I guess I'll shoot her another one while praying it doesn't flop like the first one. What's the cutest potato or explain how you're okay at absolute zero. What's the cutest potato? The kitty couch potato. What? <laughs> <laughs> y your father did? That's definitely an interesting father. I can't even begin to imagine what he's like. Well, I'm glad you liked the pun in any event. <laughs> Sure thing, I'll think of some puns that'll have you dying of laughter. I had fun too. Bingo! And here we have a new scene. Now then, what should I have Genki get me to today? Wanna go to the cafeteria, Momo? Let's just ditch that stingy asshole, Genki. Mm. You're already crying. Our fourth period PE class just finished, so we came back to the classroom to fetch our wallets. Lunch break is always the highlight of the day here. The food is just so damn good. Yeah. Hmm, I feel like I heard Senpai's name. Sawatari-senpai! よかったら、俺と一緒に中庭で飯食いません。今日俺ちょ、ちょっとあんた何失礼なこと言ってんのよ。皆ほど知りなさいって。沢渡先輩があんたなんかと一緒にお昼食べるわけないでしょ。ち
Dude, how do you even arrive at that interpretation? She literally just walked into the classroom, that's all. You, come on, please don't spring this depression shit on me now of all times. Oh, I got a text from Senpai. Where are you? Over here, I'm over here, Senpai. She lightly jogs over the second she spots me. God, she's a little bit out of breath after that and fuck, it's so adorable. Man, you startled me there, Senpai. You never come here to see me. So, do you need something? She then shows me this orange colored bundle. Wait, did you make lunch for me? Seriously? The guys start ganging up on me with Genki leading the charge. Well, it's no surprise really. This is Senpai we are talking about here. If our roles were reversed, I'd probably be just as pissed. It's raining jealousy and hatred in this room. And to make things worse, onlookers are starting to turn their attention towards us one after another. The commotion starts to spread across the entire floor, and in moments, the hallway becomes absolutely packed. Th this is getting bad. If this spreads any further, I'll have to deal with the third year's and senpai's teacher. P please guys, you've got this all wrong. Senpai and I are not dating. It's the truth, so I'm just gonna have to accept it. If I did anything else but firmly deny it, it'd just be making things awkward for Senpai, and I don't want that. I want to know what she'll say, so I choose to keep quiet. She spoke it clearly and with force, something rare coming from her. She glances my way, which I guess means she doesn't know. Why yes, the two of us are super amazing friends, you can take my word on that. I flash her a thumbs up for reassurance. Oh my gosh, that was so cute! She gave me a thumbs up back. I've never seen her do one before. Senpai, let's make like a tree and get the hell out of here. A tree? No point in staying here. Plus, I can't wait to eat the lunch you brought for me. With screams and angry voices all around us, I push Senpai's back and make for the stairway. If we want to be alone, there's only two options, the rooftop or the courtyard. 
we'll sure as hell be able to spend our time more productively there than in this hallway. Why the school cafeteria? I complied with Senpai's wish, which brought us to the school cafeteria. The benefits of eating in our school cafeteria would be the great view of the courtyard it offers and the number of seats. People who bring their own lunch eat here too often. You also don't have to go far to get drinks, so all in all it's pretty convenient, but there's just one problem. Yeah, should have seen this coming. We are much more out in the open here than in the hallway. I just can't fathom why Senpai would choose this place over all others. Oh! Absolutely! I'm gonna taste Senpai's home cooking for the very first time. Alright, what's gonna go in my mouth first? The vegetable dumpling. Ah, thanks. I take the pair of yellow plastic chopsticks that Senpai readied for me. Uh, wait, what if these are the chopsticks she always uses herself? Uh, um, do you use these chopsticks, Senpai? Great! I get to enjoy an indirect kiss with her dad, whom I've never even met before. <laughs> well, anyway, let's have a bite. The dumpling, supposedly filled with tofu and vegetables. Alright, the tasters. Nom nom. Mm. Holy mother of God! I carefully put down the chopsticks. Senpai, I hate to break it to you. I give her my impression with a terribly disappointed face and tone of voice. Oh, I really do, but... It was awfully... Delicious! What? She snapped. What the heck, Senpai? It was just an innocent little joke. You had the nice healthy tofu, rich with dashi stock flavor, giving it a mild taste. And then mixed with that, you had the vegetables, which were seasoned with just the right amount of salt. I'd say maybe they pickled in a sauce with a strong flavor. Uh, aren't you gonna eat too, Senpai? The stuff is too good. What? Choco chip ice to Tochiga Oishi Your dumplings are a hundred times more yummy without question. That chocolate chip ice cream doesn't stand a chance. Yoyu Nope, not at all. <laughs> what? She snapped for real! C calm down, Senpai. Just how much do you love chocolate chip ice cream? Chocolate chip. Kami. What? I decided to just ignore that and continue with the lunch. Holy fuck, her lunch is amazingly good. Seriously. Well, I guess she isn't a green grocer's daughter for nothing. These vegetable dishes are legit unreal. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. 
おいしい先輩、You've asked me that ten times already! Haha, <笑><笑> you really don't have to be concerned, 先輩 I meant every word of what I said. <笑> she just wants to keep hearing me say it, apparently. But boy, the way she's all nervous and fidgety around me, it's so damn cute, I'm worried for my heart. But there's one thing wrong. Em,、um, are you not gonna eat anything from here? How come I'm the only one eating shit here? How is that fair? Ah, c- crap! Was this supposed to be for us both?、Uh, I'm so so sorry. I'll go get a small plate for you right now. But then, what are you gonna eat? You aren't on a diet by any chance, are you? She then takes a 200 yen coin in her hand and looks at the school store with a challenging gaze.、Uh, what are you trying to do here? There's not gonna be anything good there this late into lunch. Um, Senpai, I'm pretty sure if you go there now, all you're gonna be able to get is crappy bread. Yeah, forget about that. Probably not a single one remaining. Oh, hell yes, it is. When it comes to the school store, it's usually the early bird who gets the worm, the worm being the good breads. Here, you gave me this lunch, so I'll get you something from the school cafeteria. Just tell me what you want, and I'll get it. All on me, too. No, no, what are you saying? You made lunch for me, did you not? It wouldn't be right for me to just do nothing, scratching each other's backs. That's the basic principle of being friends right there. <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. So don't be shy. Let me get you something. I flip the menu card on the table around to face her. What looks good? If the sad lunches are too much food for you, they also got soba and udon dishes. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, you mean you usually bring your own lunch?、Mm. Gotcha. I'd personally go for the tempura shrimp udon soup then, if I were you. The udon soup won't fill you up alone, and the tempura shrimp provides just the right amount to compensate. I'll get us drinks too while I'm at it. Is tea good, or would you rather have a juice or soda? Following that, she takes out a thermos. Not only did she bring me lunch, but she also brought me tea. And the best part is, she did this all for me. G- God damn, this is more than just a happy feeling. I'm getting emotional here. Senpai, I'll be right back with your lunch. If it's for you, then I'll hurry more than any man's ever hurried before. I immediately get the meal ticket and hop in line. She's never had school lunch before, so I want to make it the best experience possible. Let's load this baby up with all sorts of toppings. Miss, two shrimp tempura, please, in the largest size you have. Are you? I hand over the meal ticket and take a moment to catch my breath. Peering back into the kitchen as I do so. It strikes me as somewhat insane when I think about it. I mean, the fact that I can have lunch with Senpai like it's normal. Not even a few weeks ago, I was having trouble just seeing her. Savatari Senpai used to be someone I thought was high class, someone I thought was far too good for the likes of me. Thanks. But once I actually got to know her, I realized that that couldn't be further from the truth. The fact that I'm here chatting casually with her like this makes me so keenly aware of that. Senpai, I'm back! I got you a nice steaming hot tempura shrimp udon soup! Senpai? Did something happen? She looks kinda gloomy. Well, that explains things. I'm earning scorn for being with Senpai. Nothing new, essentially. I know we are a really mismatched pair, but honestly, I don't think that's anything to get worked up over at this point. 
I feel bad for saying this, considering how this affects Senpai, but this does in a way give me a feeling of superiority I'm not used to feeling like ever. What? Don't tell me you eat your udon soup with shredded kombu! So, so sorry, I'll be back with some in two seconds flat, so just wait here and have some shrimp in the meantime. She's kind to a fault. While she doesn't say it out loud, I can understand exactly what she's thinking by looking at her face. Is it Shichimi then? I guess you're the adventurous type, eh? Same here, I usually put in so much Shichimi the soup turns red. So, so it's actually not as spicy as you would think. Wanna try it out? I'll shake the container a good 50 times. I guess she was figuring it'd be red if she left it there because she's downing that thing. Haha, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you blow on your foot like that. I wasn't asking for an apology for something as silly as that. It's not like she was doing anything wrong. She's just doing the same thing as everyone else here. Is it good? Enjoying lunch with a friend in the school cafeteria. <laughs>